Got another exam question here on the acids, bases and pH topic. So we're in the double figures now, number 10. So if you want to have a go at this first, the link to the questions in the description of the video. Okay, so make a start. So and bronze acid, lowry acid is a proton donor. H plus donor is fine. The weak acid is partially dissociated or partially ionized. Next part, we've got to calculate the pH of this potassium hydroxide. So we need to use the KW expression. It's a strong alkali, so the OH minus ion concentration will also be 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. They haven't given us the temperature, so we're just going to assume that it's 25 degrees C, which will make KW equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So when you rearrange the KW expression for H plus concentration, it becomes that. Put the numbers in, get those. So the H plus concentration is going to be this number here. So all we need to do now is minus log that to get the pH. And that comes out at 13.70. Part C now, we've got to write the expression for Ka for propanoic acid. See, I've written up the dissociation equation already. So Ka is the equilibrium concentrations of the products multiplied together, divided by the reactant. Just be careful with this one. You can't get away with writing the H plus concentration squared over concentration of acid. It has to be everything present. You can't either do the uh, generic one, sort of the A minus H plus on the top and um, HA on the bottom. So it's got to be that. Moving up the calculation now. So a little bit tricky this one. So gone from a classic diagram. So just try and help visualize what's going on. So they've taken 25 cm cubed of this concentration propanoic acid basically just put water in and made it up to 100 cm cubed. So to calculate the pH of this diluted solution, remember it's a weak acid, propanoic acid is a weak acid, so we use this expression here, H plus concentration of a weak acid, it's the square root of Kaha, that's what I call it. Um, so what do we know? We know the Ka value, but we don't know the concentration of the acid once it's been diluted, so that's what we've got to calculate first. So first thing I've done is calculate how many moles of acid have been used. So concentration times volume. Remember, volume has to be in decimeters cubed. So that's how many moles of acid have basically are in there as well. But the new volume needs to be factored in. So the concentration of the diluted acid is the moles divided by the volume of the rain, 0.12 moles per decimeter cubed. So we'll bring in the square root of Kaha expression now. So H plus concentration is the square root of that times that concentration. So we've got an H plus concentration of that. All we need to do now is minus log that to get the pH, which gives a pH of 2.90. A couple of equations now. So the full equation for the reaction between aqueous propanoic acid and sodium carbonate. So acid, carbonate, salt, carbon dioxide and water. Just be careful, you get the formula of your salt right. So obviously sodium propanoate is just as a one-to-one -one ratio with the ions because they're both, uh, well, one minus one plus. So that's how that one looks. And the ionic equation is the classic ionic equation for acid with alkali. So it's just H plus plus OH minus goes to H2O. Part E now. So we're told that the cyanide ion is a conjugate base. Um, so therefore, it's going to be accepting a proton in this process. Where's it going to get the proton from? The H2O. So that means the CN minus ion will become HCN. So obviously that's that very toxic weak acid. And the H2O will become the OH minus ion. So we'll just label up the acid-base pairs and then we're done. So this orange pair, obviously we can't use colour in the exam. So we're going to call this pair 1. So this is a base of pair 1, so B1. This is the acid of pair 1, so A1. Pair 2, I'm colouring in green, so remember this has donated the proton to that, so that's an acid, so it'll be A2, and obviously this is formed as a result, so this is going to be B2, so obviously you can accept a proton, go back to that. 